Scorpio, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to do a second reading for you just because that was rough. It seemed like a replay of everything that had already happened in another reading. If I'm picking up on an energy that for that for somebody, then so be it. I'm also going to shuffle in this video just so you can see that I'm not trying to stick and adhere to a narrative. You know, I'm not trying to cheat anybody in a reading. I just, the energies that are picked up are <laughs> very much prevalent. Oh, I, and I've already popped out two. So I'm going to continue on, but at the bottom of the deck, again, we have conflict. The Five of Cups here, so somebody regretting a situation, you know, what's already transpired in a situation. Um, for the overall energy, I, was, I, I pulled out the Eight of Swords in reverse, so releasing mental energy as far as like what you've been holding on to in your, your stuckness, um, and the bottom of the deck for that is the High Priestess. So deep deep energy as far as as how to how to heal a situation how to utilize your intuition underneath the high priestess you have the magician wanting to resurrect a situation wanting to bring forth energy and stabilize something wanting to manifest more with somebody and under that you have the ten of pentacles so this is a long-standing relationship again this is a situation in regard to family, in regard to a situation that it's been, it's there's family involved here. The Knight of Cups, love offer, an offer to heal situation, and whoever is experiencing this, they are now. The hermit so they're evaluating they're evaluating this love love offer they're evaluating the offer of love the hermit is like shining his light right on that cup whomever this situation is for they've already experienced a lot of regret here they've experienced a lot of being let down you know and like there's fighting there's frustration here Underneath the hermit, you have more conflict. All right, I'm going to stop there, and I am just going to go ahead and keep shuffling, and we will see what ends up happening. Show me Scorpio. September, September 2018, Scorpio. High Priestess again, using your intuition. Somebody here is using their, intu their intuition. This is also about secrets. This is about bottom of the deck, the devil, secret relationships, secret relationships, third party situations, the mistress, mistresses. You have the High Priestess here twice, two mistresses. God, Scorpio, I, fuck, I don't want to, like, paint Scorpio as, like, a terrible creature. Not all of you are cheaters. Not all of you are assholes. And it's really frustrating because it's, like, you know, I don't like seeing people in, in, in like, negative light. And I definitely don't want to just perpetuate, like, a stereotype that all Scorpios are scumbags, like, you're not. You're beautiful people. You're deeply healing people. Unfortunately, though, in regard to tarot and in regard to connecting to the energy within a lot of people that are hurt, you tend to vibrate. I tend to vibrate towards the energy that is becoming present in regard to um, what's what's current, the current energy right now that I'm, I'm being presented. And at this point, secrets things that are not things that are not in light you know one needing to use their intuition one who has experienced enough with somebody conflict frustration regret sorrow fighting needing to utilize your intuition but again potential of two people 
two secret people, two side people, two side relationships. With the devil at the bottom of the deck. Third party energies, toxic relationships, relationships that are done under the hush. I'm going to go on. Show me more for Scorpio. The lovers. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to say this. Lovers. Secret lovers. It doesn't have to be two females. It can be two males. It can be two females. It could be a male and a female. However you swing. I don't care. I don't, I'm, I don't care. But it's a head over heart decision. It's a connection that you have to look at. Whoever has experienced whatever they have with the Scorpio, they're tired of it. They're tired of, of the conflict. They're tired of the fighting in regard to this. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Wands. Tired, wanting to let go of the burden. Not wanting to do this anymore. Show me the future energy. King of Swords. So the King of Swords is basically somebody, yeah, it can be Aries Leo, such, um, Aries Leo, Gemini. I'm sorry. Leo, I've, Jesus Christ. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I was saying Aries Leo, Sagittarius, that's a fire sign. In the last reading that I just read for you, a fire sign was making a clear-cut decision to get out of Dodge. This is somebody using their judgment. This is somebody who is not emotionally affected anymore by something. For somebody to no longer be emotionally affected by something, that means that they've experienced a level of enough pain where they want to just cut it out they want to excise the word excise is coming here under there under the bottom of the deck for the king of swords you have the two of pentacles needing to balance things out this person is wanting to cut energy out of their life within this situation because they want to balance out what they have left they don't want to have to deal with people that have more than one relationship they don't want to have to deal with somebody that is Playing the field, well, this one flipped out, but they want to leave a situation, they want to move away from the situation. I'm going to put that back in the deck. Show me more for Scorpio. It's kind of a replay of, it's kind of a replay of the reading I just did for Scorpio. The Six of Cups, somebody from your past with the Ace of Pentacles. So this is somebody from the past wanting to offer you something, wanting to mend something, wanting to start again. I feel the energy here is somebody where it's like, if this is the person, if this is the person from the past that wants to start this over again, if they, if this King of Swords is the one that wants to start this over again, this doesn't have to be an air sign. This just can be somebody that can also be very cold and detached in the way that they treat people. But they're from your past. You have karmic connection. You have karmic ties. Yes, this is a soulmate card. You have to remember, though, soulmates are not always buttercups and roses. Like, soulmates are here to challenge us. They're here to change our lives. They are here to shift our perception of self. They're here for our benefit, but in harsh ways. Scorpio, the sign of Scorpio, is about death and rebirth. It is about um, allowing things to die, allowing things to just completely disintegrate so they can be risen from the ashes again. They're the sign of the phoenix. They're the sign of utter destruction. They're Kali, Kali, you know, like this is destruction. Scorpio. soulmate energy not all soulmates are fun not all soulmates are fun but they're for our benefit if this person was that this is a very cold energy this is very harsh this is very demanding this is somebody who is um you will feel under scrutiny you you won't feel comfortable 
and they treat you very poorly. They're offering you something. You have a lot to think about. Do you want to fight more? Do you want to have more frustration? Do you want more anxiety? Because what I'm picking up here at the bottom of the deck is the emperor. The emperor is somebody who is... He's harsh energy, man. He has harsh energy when he's in the reverse. And he's going to be upright because I didn't. he didn't flip out in the reverse. But I'm feeling... Yeah, fuck. Underneath that, death card, Scorpio. Again, harsh energy. This is very much a continuation of the last reading, I feel. And if this isn't, then you know what? Go with what's being presented here. Because it feels like somebody needs to be done. Somebody needs to cut a situation out of their lives. This doesn't just have to mean that this is this person being an asshole. This also can be your energy, whoever you are watching this, being very, very clear in what you will and will not experience anymore. Even if you do feel a definite level of soulmate energy with this person, this does not mean that they have to be in your life. They're here for a reason. They're here to change your lives. By releasing them, you give yourself a brand new beginning. You give yourself the stability to walk into something new. I don't think you want what this person is bringing. Clarify the five of, five of cups. Six of pentacles. Juggling. Juggling more than one person. Giving to others. See the moon there? Secrets. Half-truths, having to decipher because you, you don't have the full truth of it. That brings conflict, that brings anxiety. I'm going to use that for both cards here. Show me, the, show, me, show me a connection between the High Priestess and the Lovers, please. Emperor in reverse with the Ace of Swords. You're cutting this person out. This person is not somebody that's for you. You've experienced this for a very specific reason, and it's time to leave. It's time to go. You have to go. This has to die. This is the Scorpio card. Yes, death is the Scorpio card, but this is transformation. You have to allow this to die. Use your clarity, use your judgment, use your discernment. Excision, excision, where is it? Excision, excise. This is the word that comes to me when I'm feeling this card, excision. You must excise this person from your life. You must excise yourself from this situation. You must relieve yourself of it. I say relieve yourself of it because it feels incredibly painful. This is also finding out about, finding out about lovers, finding out about people that were secondary, finding out about the information. And when you find out, you're cutting it out. This person is selfish. This person has no regard for you. Give me a connection between the King of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. You've, you've gone through this enough. You're letting it go. You're letting it go. It's at the bottom of the deck. You're, you're moving forth into a direction that's new for you. It's something different for you that you can feel good about, that you can feel passionate about. But also, you're moving away from a fucking player. You're moving away from a player. This is the Prince of Wands. This is the Knight of Wands. This is the player card. Underneath that, you have the Prince of Swords, so the Page of Swords. Communication with this person, I feel, you know what, after you've experienced this with this person, it's going to be short and sweet. Short and sweet energy, short and sweet communication. Cut. 
Uh, I feel like I want to stop this reading here. I don't want to like... Whomever this is experiencing this, you're cutting it out. The outcome for Scorpio Scorpio in regards to the situation. Show me outcome for Scorpio. Show me outcome for Scorpio. Six of Cups. So this is a person that you've already dealt with. Knight of Cups. They're coming in to sweet talk you. You can't be sweet talked. You can't be sweet talked here. Nothing to be sweet talked about. We can't brush this shit under the rug. This energy is this offer. They want to offer to you, but I don't think you, you want to deal with that. Six of cups, six of cups, hangman in reverse. You've done your homework here. You're, you're finito. You're done. All right, Scorpio, I, I tried. I wanted to give you puppies and kittens and you got this. So I'm going to let it go here because I don't, I don't think that this is, is a, it's redundant. It's redundant. And I'm sorry, maybe next reading, it will be completely different and your energies will have shifted. Whomever this is for though, move it along, move it along. This is not a healthy thing to you for you to stay in. There's too much conflictual energy here. There's too many secrets. There's too many people. And the person that you're dealing with is not somebody that you want to be dealing with because you will never win. You will never win with this person. They are too deceptive. They are too much in favor of whatever serves them. So anyways, my name is Isil. I'm here on YouTube as the Altruistic Mystic. If this message resonated with you, uh, feel free to like it, share it, and subscribe it. Please like it if it did, just because um, it gets it more views, and that may be able to help somebody else see it and help their situation, help them out of something. So, yeah, um, I will be back at some point soon with more readings for you, and I hope I hope they're different. I hope the energy is different, because this, this sucks. I don't like delivering messages that are just constantly like on a level of frustration and pain. So anyways, all right, Scorpio, um, or Crosswatcher, whomever, I hope you're well. Take care. Bye.